Hello everyone, this is Samra Absurdana and today I'm going to be teaching you Q skills for success reading level 1 unit 3 starting on page 42 reading 1 vacation policy let's start with the vocabulary activity here are some words from reading 1 read the paragraphs then write each underlined word next to the correct definition. So we need to match the underlined words with the definitions. First, let's read the paragraphs. Toys Inc. is a small toy company. It produces beautiful wooden toys. There are 36 employees at Toys Inc. Most of the employees have special woodworking skills. Toys Inc. competes with many other toy companies. Sometimes of you are very busy and the employees work very long hours. They work an average of 50 hours a week. Recently several employees left the company. They left because they were stressed by the long hours. The company president wants to improve employees experience at work. She believes employees are likely to work better when they take time to rest and relax. The president will write a new vacation policy so that more Toys Inc. employees take vacation from work. 1. Produce. It's a verb to make or grow something. So the first definition is for produce. 2. Rest. A verb to relax, to sleep, or to do nothing. 3. Compete. Verb to try to do something better than someone else. 4. Improve. Verb to become better or to make something better. 5. Employees. Noun. People who work for someone else. 6. Policy. Noun. The plans of a government, organization or company. 7. Average. Noun. The normal or usual amount. 8. Likely. Adjective. Expected. To happen. Moving on. To activity C. Now you need to skim the reading here, the email header, and then answer the questions. So if you skim the email, read the subject uh, from whom it was sent and to whom, you'll be able to answer the following questions. Question one Who is the email from? The email is from Christine Drake, president of Toys and Company. Here you find it, it's from Christine Drake, the president. Who is the email to? Two employees of Toys Inc. And three, what is the email about the subject? Vacation policy. Moving on to the reading section. Read the email and gather information about why vacation is important. Like we said before, it's from Christine Drake, president of Toys Inc. And it's directed to employees of Toys Inc. And the subject is vacation policy. At Toys Inc., we want you to be happy, healthy, and successful employees. We know you work hard and we believe vacations are the best way for you to rest and relax. Many of you, however, do not use all your vacation days. Some of you don't take vacation at all. This year, employees used an average of only four vacation days. Not taking vacation hurts you and the company. Now, if we look at this diagram, vacation time employees use each year from one to five days, 50%, from six to 10 days, 25%, and from all employees who take no vacation at all, also 25%. The source is Department of Human Resources. Moving on to page 44. Tired employees are more likely to have accidents and get hurt. Tired employees are more likely to feel stress and get sick. Every time an employee gets hurt or sick, we produce less. Every time a person gets hurt or sick, their co-workers need to work harder to do their work too. Tired employees are more likely to be unhappy and leave the job. You are very skilled with workers. We don't want to lose you. Vacations improve the work you do. You have more energy. You produce more. Vacations are good for business because they are good for employees. 
Next year we will start a new vacation policy because you need to take your vacations. We want to know which policy works best for you. Please read about the two policies then check the one you like best. Please return your email with your choice by the end of the day, Friday. I will decide on the policy after I hear from you. Policy A Close the company for two weeks every year. With Policy A we close our business for two weeks every year. One week in the summer and one week in the winter. All employees take their vacation during those two weeks. Many companies around the world have this policy. Reasons for and against Policy A Many employees go on vacation but they don't stop thinking about work. They call the company during their vacation. They check the company email. Closing the company solves this problem. Everyone gets a real vacation. The big summer and winter holidays already slow down business. Many employees take vacation around the holidays. This means half the employees are away and the other half are working too hard. By closing the doors everyone takes time to relax. This policy does have a problem. Toys Inc. is number one in wood toys. We might lose business if we close for two weeks. It will be difficult to compete if we close our doors. Policy B. Use your vacation days or lose them. In Policy B, employees need to use their vac 10 vacation days each year. If you do not use the days, you lose the days. You cannot save the days and use them the next year. Many companies now have this vacation policy. Reasons for and against Policy B. Employees can decide when to use the vacation days. You can plan a vacation around your family's work and school schedules. Many employees like to take several short vacations during the year. This policy lets you take a couple of days off now and then to take short vacations. This policy works well for the company. However, when employees take vacations at different times, their co-workers need to work harder to do their extra work. This creates stress for employees who are not on vacation. Moving on to Activity B. Which policy do these statements describe? A or B and check the correct answer. We have four statements. Number one, employees take their vacation anytime. Policy B. Check. Two, employees take their vacation at the same time. Policy A. Check. Three, the company closes for two weeks a year. Policy A. Check. The company stays open all year long. Policy B. Check. Moving on to page 46, activity C. Write the letter of the answer that best completes each statement. So you need to match the parts of statements. Number one, several employees left Toys Inc. with D because they were stressed due to the long working hours. Two, Toys Inc. is starting a new vacation policy with A because employees were not taking vacation. Number three, tired employees produce less with C because they get sick more often. And number four, vacations are good for business with B because employees work better. Moving on to activity D. Complete the chart with reasons for and against each policy. Use information from the reading. So here you need to put the reasons for or in favor of policy A, reasons against policy A or problems, here reasons for policy B and here reasons against policy B. Now here are the correct answers. All employees get a real vacation. Reasons for policy A. Difficult to compete with other companies. Reasons against policy B. Flexible vacation time. Reasons for policy B. More co worker stress, which is here. Reasons against policy B. No one calls in to work while on vacation. Reasons for policy A. Several short vacations. 
which is here reasons for policy B. <coughs> Moving on to the reading skill. Reading charts, graphs and tables. Many texts you read have charts, graphs or tables in them. Charts, graphs and tables are very useful because they give a lot of information in a small space. They also make it easier to understand a text. Here are the different types of charts and graphs. This is called a pie chart. This is a bar graph. And this is a table. It is, impo uh, it is important to look at charts, graphs and tables when you preview and skim a text. Here are some tips. Read the title and headings to get the main idea. Look at the numbers. To find details, scan for only the numbers that you want to know about. Moving on to Activity A. Look at the pie chart in Reading 1 on page 43 and answer the questions. So in, a, in order to be able to answer these questions, you need to go back to the pie chart on Reading A or Reading 1. Question 1. What is the title? Vacation time employees use each year. Question 2. What percentage of employees at Toys Inc. take 1 to 5 vacation days? 50%. Question 3. What percentage of employees at Toys Inc. do not take any vacation? 25%. Moving on. Activity B. Look at the table and answer the questions below. Now the title of this table is Vacation Days Per Year. Here are a list of countries. Brazil, France, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, United Kingdom and United States. The first column here is the average number of vacation days employees give. The second one is average number of vacation days employees take. This is given the given days by employers. This is the days employees take. And the third one is average number of vacation days employees do not use. So we need to answer the following questions based on this table. Here are the right answers. Question 1. What is the title? Vacation days per year. 2. In which countries do people, ta do people take the most vacation? In two countries, Brazil and France. 3. How many vacation days do employers give in the United States? The answer is 14. 4. How many days do people take in the United States? The answer is 10. 5. How many vacation days do employers give in the United Kingdom? The answer is 25. And 6. How many vacation days do employees take in the United Kingdom? The answer is 25. 7. What do you think? Why don't people in the United States, Mexico and Japan take all their vacation days? Now this, the answer will vary based on your opinion. The same goes for question 8. You need to write what you think to answer these questions. What do you think? Why do people in Brazil and France take all their vacation days? Just provide any opinion that comes to your mind and write in your own words. Activity C. Look at the bar graph and answer the questions below. The title is Reasons Employees Do Not Take Vacation. And you may use these reasons as possible answers for the previous exercise, questions 7 and 8. Now the reasons are it's too expensive. Many family and I don't have the same vacation schedules. My family and I don't have the same vacation schedules. I don't want to get behind at work. I feel bad about leaving work. I don't enjoy vacation and I enjoy my job more. Now these are the responses. So let's answer the following questions. Question 1. What is the title? 
Reasons employees do not take vacation. Question 2. What is the number one reason people do not take vacation? The answer it's too expensive. As you can see, it has 129 responses. Question 3. How many people don't enjoy vacation? One. And question 4. How many people cannot take vacation at the same time as their family? The answer is 40. Moving on to page 50. Write what you think. Discuss the questions in a group. The president of Toys Inc. wants employees to take vacations. How do the two policies get employees to use their vacation time? What are the other ways to get employees to use their vacation time? And question two, are vacations the only way to rest and relax? What are other ways employees can rest and relax? So these are discussion questions. And these are possible answers. Policy A closes the company. Policy B does not allow employees to save their vacation days. Two more ideas are to set an example. For example, the president and managers take vacations and to hire temporary workers to make it easier to take vacation. And an example answer for question two. People can relax when they listen to music or do things they like. Proper sleep, food, and exercise can also help people relax. In activity B, you need to choose one of the questions from activity A and write a response. Now, the same possible answers or example answers can be used as responses. You may follow in these answers and write what you think. Remember, you need to use your own words. Moving on to reading two, managing life and work with Dr. Sanders. First of all, the vocabulary activity. Here are some words from reading two. Read the sentences. Circle the answer that best matches the meaning of each underlined word. So you need to choose A or B. Number one. In the summer, I travel abroad to learn new languages and try new experiences. Abroad is A to other countries. Two, she has a good attitude about work. She believes work is important, but it is not everything. Attitude A, way of thinking. Three, exercise has many benefits. You lose weight and get healthy. Benefits B, good results. Four, if you pay attention, you can discover new things every day. Discover, B, learn about. 5. His trip to Turkey was a positive experience. He was happy he went. Positive, B, good. 6. On vacations, I connect with my family. We have fun together. Connect, A, feel close to. 7. People come back from vacation more relaxed. Vacations reduce stress. Reduce, B, lower. Moving on to activity C. Now, after previewing the following text by looking at the title and the first heading in the blog, post and write the answers. Now, as you can see, the title is Managing Life and Work with Dr. Sanders. The first heading is a short, is a short vacation better than a long one? So, let's take a look at the preview questions. Who is the author who wrote this blog? Dr. Sanders, as you can see in the title. What's the name of the blog? Managing Life and Work. What's the title of this blog post? Is a short vacation better than a long one? Moving on to the reading section. Managing life and work with Dr. Sanders. 
is a short vacation better than a long one? We all know vacations are good for our health. Indeed, regular vacations reduce heart attacks in men by 30% and in women by 50%. But which kind of vacation is better? One long vacation or several short ones? Here is information from research studies. Read about the benefits of each kind of vacation, then decide which kind of vacation is best for you. The benefits of a long vacation. International travel makes a vacation longer, but the benefits are big. Several studies show that people who spend their vacations abroad are more creative when they come back home. When people spend time in other countries, they discover different ways people live. This results in more creative thinking and better problem solving. Many, st many studies show that people do not get good quality sleep until day 2 or 3 of their vacation. After day 2 or day 3, they continue to sleep well for the whole vacation. They also sleep well for one week after vacation. A long vacation means better sleep for more days. Traveling on vacation can be stressful. It takes time and money, and money to travel. If you spend more time on your vacation, you get more days of relaxation for your days of travel. If there is a problem at work and you are away on a long vacation, your co-workers are more likely to take care of the problem. They are not likely to wait for you to come back from vacation. The result, you have less work waiting for you when you get back to work. The benefits of short vacations. Several studies discovered that people enjoy planning for their vacation as much as they enjoy taking the vacation. If you plan for short vacations a year, you can experience the fun of planning the vacation four different times in one year. Many people do not call the office when they are away on a short vacation. People on long vacations are more likely to check email and worry about work. For example, France has the highest number of vacation days, 30 days a year, and also the highest number of vacationers who check their work email, 93%. Vacations improve our attitude about our lives, our families, and ourselves. When we get back to work, we quickly forget all those positive feelings. Taking several short vacations a year helps you feel positive about your life more often. We all have very busy lives, family, school, and work schedules are full. It is difficult to find a whole week when everyone can go on vacation. A short vacation is easier to fit into our busy schedules. The busier we are, the more important it is to connect with friends and family on vacation. Moving on to activity C. Nope, sorry, activity B. Check the main idea of the blog post. Now, which one of the following is the main idea of the blog post? It's short and long vacations have different benefits, which is the third one. Short and long vacations have different benefits. So, check. Moving to activity C. Which statements support short vacations? Which statements support long vacations? Write S for short or L for long next to each statement. Number one, people enjoy planning vacations as much as they enjoy taking vacations. S, which means this statement supports short vacations. Two, traveling abroad makes a person more creative. L for long. Three, people on long vacations call in to work more often. S. 4. People quickly lose the benefits of vacation. S. 5. Families have very busy schedules. S. 6. Co-workers take care of problems at work when an employee is away for several weeks. L. 7. It takes a few days of relaxation to improve sleep quality. L. And H. Travel has benefits, but it is stressful. Also, L. Moving on to activity D. Which do you prefer? Long or short vacations and why? Choose one reason from the blog post to support your answer. 
So the answers will vary based on your preference, which do you prefer, and possible answers. For example, I prefer long vacations because they give me more time to make decisions. Or, I prefer short vacations because I like to plan vacations more than I like to take vacations. So it's up to you. Moving on to page 54. Write what you think. Discuss the questions in a group. Look back at your quick write on page 51 as you think about what you learned. Now, of course, the answers will vary based on your discussions. The blog post talks about the benefits of taking a vacation. What benefits do you hope for when you take a vacation? Circle three benefits and discuss your choices. So, you need to circle three benefits. A. Discover new places. B. Get better sleep. C. Connect with family. D. Reduce heart attacks. E. Feel good about yourself and your life. F. Get away from work or school. So, for example, you can choose A, B, and C. I like to explore, relax, and spend time with my family. The second question, what is your idea of a great vacation? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? So, you need to write what you think. For example, my idea of a great vacation is going to the beach every day. I want to go to a tropical, a tropical island. I want to swim a lot and get better sleep. Now in activity C, think about the unit video, reading 1, reading 2. As you discuss the question, then choose one of the questions and write a response. So you need to choose one of these two questions and write your response. The answers will vary. Question 1. What is better for families? One long vacation or several short vacations and why? For example, one long vacation is better for children because it gives them the opportunity to spend time with their families. It is better for children to have several short vacations because they won't forget what they were taught in school. So, it's up to you. And remember, you need to use your own words. Question 2. Do you think about, do you think people should take more vacations? Why or why not? For example, people should take more vacations because it is important to have time to do things other than work. Or, people should not take more vacations because vacations can be stressful and expensive. Moving on to the vocabulary skill, modifying nouns. We often put two nouns together to form a modifying noun. So, a modifying noun is two nouns put together. The first noun describes the second noun, which means it acts like an adjective. For example, classroom time means time in a classroom. Family needs means needs of a family. Summer vacation means vacation during the summer. Knowing how to use modifying nouns correctly increases your vocabulary and helps you sound more natural. When a noun acts like an adjective, it cannot be plural. plural. So remember, the first noun describes the second noun. So the first noun acts as an adjective, which means it cannot be plural. Here are some examples, classroom time, and it is incorrect to say classroom's time. Family needs, it is inc incorrect to say family's needs. Activity A, change each phrase into a modifying noun. 1. Experiences in life. So, if we change it to a modifying noun, it, it will become life experiences. Experience in work, work experience. Time for relaxation, relaxation time. Time for work, work time. Stress in a job, job stress. Stress in a family, family stress. Vacation in the summer, summer vacation. Policy for vacations. 
vacation policy year of school school year schedule for work work schedule president of a company company president email from work work email and our last activity for today activity B order the words and phrases write a question so you need to rearrange these words to form a correct question number one it's already done how long is your school year number two how many days of vacation do you get number three what do you do on your summer vacation four what are your vacation plans this year five how often do you check your work email from home six what is your employer's vacation policy seven what time do you take your lunch break and eight what is your favorite vacation spot okay that's it everyone thank you for watching and stay healthy